much you want to do this year the queen quite coming down on a live one more again from american beach down here upon amelia island florida in the gullah geechee nation so glad if a day you this one shouting time for truth this year american beach was founded back in 1935 by the afro-american life insurance company the first insurance company in florida not the first black one the first one period by abraham lincoln lewis and many other people were coming together for founding this year beach as a place when you know 1935 was segregated also been the time of the Great Depression and Timber going on. Well this your land we yet about for many many years from we sacred ancestor now. God bless the dead. The beach lady Marvin Betch love them so much so we so glad that a vision come into reality this your day as we go on to the opening of the American Beach Museum. This year the Queen quit, head upon the body of the Gullah Geechee Nation, and if Hunter to deal with me, Hunter Gwai know this year the what Gwai know. <laughs> couple of days, her spirit has soared. She is amongst us. She may even come alive in spirit. She may touch you, but if you hear a whisper that said, Dave, <laughs> you know the spirit of Marvin is here. And in the tradition of the ancient African religions of Ifa, Yoruba, as it transcended and became Santeria and Candomblé, those things that she focused on and became real in her spirit. And she kept alive because not only did she rename herself Marvin Oshun Bech, she took Oshun as one of the Orishas that was the goddess of the waters. I wonder why. The goddess of love, the goddess of humanity, the goddess who wore the colors of yellow and orange. This is a very special day that we selected September the 5th. It is the day that our beloved beach lady made transition. She knew that five was the day that she would come and she would leave. She had to think about five. You know that A.L. Lewis was born in 1960. Oh, he created the beach with the Afro-American Life Insurance Company in 1930. It was the great hurricane and she was blown with the winds in 1930. Five. Oh, Rosa Parks sat on that bus in 1950. Five. Oh, she can go on and on and she knew that the five was the day that she would blow with the wind. Mm -hmm. It was September the 5th, 2005. This is the day that A.L. Lewis, those seven men who came together in Jacksonville to be able to look far, when they knew that the African American, the black folk, the colored people at that time, could not even move through beaches. They understood the bathrooms and the water fountains and the benches. 
But they did not understand that they could not even partake in God's creations. So they knew they had to come and find a place that they said in quotes, the beginning quote that says, a place of rest and relaxation without, without humiliation. In quote. And we've come to this day. The A.L. Lewis Historical Society that was created in her great-grandfather's name by Marvin Bench, the president of the A.L. Lewis Society, would like to welcome you, Mr. Neil Frank. Tough act to follow, but I, I'd like to welcome all of you, uh, the A.L. Lewis Society, the board members, Bill Jennings, uh, Eve Jones, I can't call everyone named Carlton Jones. Uh, so many members, excuse me if I f forget your name, but welcome. We'd like to welcome you, and it's been a long time coming, but we finally see some results. After a lot of planning, Marvin started this some years ago, and we stuck together, and, and, and I stand on the shoulder of many people who encouraged me to stick with it, Carlton Jones and Bill Jennings and Carol Alexander, who say, Neil, we need your help, and I'm trying to do all that I can. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm really marvel at the job that has been done. Once those of you who haven't been in there yet, you will be surprised to see. And again, welcome to all of the politicians, uh, the, the the county uh, members, and the city members of the of the uh, of the community. And welcome to the A. L. Lewis family who has come up as far as Africa. I mean, uh, uh, of France and Washington D.C. and some of them maybe farther than that. So welcome. Uh, it was such a wonderful, wonderful family. I kind of. Imagine the, the time when A.L. Lewis came here and his, his vision had to be overwhelming to, to visualize what he did here in 1935. Mm -hmm. This place back then, just above a, a, a plantation that they grew indigo and they grew sea island cotton and Franklin Town was started before that. And it was, imagine his vision for the future and the board members of the African American uh, Insurance Company. So again, to all of you, whoever you are from American Beach, of Nassau County, Jacksonville, welcome on my behalf and the members of the A.L. Lewis Historical Society. Welcome. There's an old African proverb that says, until the lion finds someone to tell his story, the story will always be told by the hunter. Thank you. <laughs> I did not introduce myself. My name is Carol Alexander. I'm the creative director and project manager for this particular museum. I've done another one, theater museum before, but this is a specific one. Specific because it was A.L. Lewis's vision, and he didn't even know it. It was Marvin's dream, but she knew it. This is a night of history, heritage, and legacy. This is something that I don't know how many families can do this. And I want to do this without amplification. A.L. Lewis, his great, great granddaughter, Dr. Janetta Betch Cole. John Bitch. <laughs> Mr. A.L. Lewis's great granddaughter, Miss Renee Lewis. <laughs> Mr. A.L. Lewis's great great grandson, Mr. Attorney Michael Lewis. Mr. A.L. Lewis's great daughter-in-law. Is that what you want, Ms. Lewis? <laughs> Mr. A.L. Lewis's great grandson. His great grandson. His great great no. His 
<laughs> Let me do it this way. <laughs> it is his great grandson's wife. Yeah, his great grandson. I'm a part of the family. <laughs> as an anthropologist. Family is not by blood alone. Family is grounded in shared vision, unending love, and amazing and full of grace, yes. determination. Yes. You think you have met A.L. Lewis's family. Now I will bring the rest of the family. The daughter of Marvin Oshun Betch. Harold J. Alexander. <laughs> closer if my sister had grunted <laughs> and, <laughs> loud. and because this is Marvin's sister in reality I now introduce Marvin's nephews give it <laughs> come all right all right all right Brother, 
like the devil loves sin. So let us these generations continue giving. Go get your bride. <laughs> and three girls. <laughs> within the sound of my voice to lift your right hand. If anybody's taking pictures, here are the descendants with their hands raised Ashen. of Abraham Lincoln Lewis. Ashen. Ashen. for coming forward and to come this far. There are things that had to happen. Oh, I have my granddaughter in my arm. I keep her. <laughs> things had to happen to make this day possible. The county commission, the Nassau County Commission, when we asked that we could use this particular piece of land, and Mavin fought and fought and fought so that this could be where the museum was. So the county had to have a place to have a voting in its north division, is that correct? And this was the space. And Mavin said, oh, but we have to have a museum here. And she would go to the county commission all the time to where they had her as just a first name basis to come up and, and, and speak. So when we said that this was the day, the Nassau County Commission said that September the 5th must be the Beach Lady Day. May I introduce to you the district commissioner of this district, Mr. Steve Kelly. Thank you very much. Yes, we're very excited to, uh, I've got a proclamation here to read, but I also want to take just a few minutes to let you know that we have some other elected officials and I'm going to introduce them. You know, there's five county commissioners and tonight you have three out of five in this room. Mm -hmm. uh, I am the county commissioner for District 2, which is this district. Uh, Mr. Pat Edwards is in the back. Pat, raise your hand. His wife, Lauren. Right. County commissioner for District 3, which is the Uly area. Then we have Believe it or not, county commissioner-elect just won last Tuesday night, and he's here from Hilliard. Please raise your hand, George. That hasn't even been sworn in yet. And then we have city commissioner, Sarah Pelican, and she is the vice mayor. So please, Sarah, raise your hand. would in no way try to speak for my fellow commissioners, but I can assure you that it is our honor to be here tonight. Please, it, it, it is a privilege for us to be here and take part in this. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to read this two-page proclamation. Well, no, no, I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it, but I want to tell you, I want to get the pronunciation right. It's Marvin Betch. 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 Okay, Betch. the reason I want to get that right <laughs> is that name is in here 18 times. <laughs> and I really don't want to butcher up the name with so many relatives in the room. So please work with me, okay? Resolution 2014-106. A resolution proclaiming September the 5th 2014 as the Beach Lady Day in Nassau County, Florida. Whereas Marvin Betch was born on January 13, 1935 in Jacksonville, Florida and was the granddaughter of A.L. Williams, Florida's first black millionaire. A.L. Uh -oh. Lewis. Uh -oh. Lewis. 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 
Lewis. A.L. Lewis. Lewis. What did I say? You said Williams. I'm sorry. A.L. Lewis. See, I can't even read it. A.L. Lewis, Florida's first black millionaire. And whereas Mr. Lewis was one of the seven founders of the Afro-American Life Insurance Company and was a successful businessman, civic leader, and philanthropist, and whereas Mr. Lewis purchased American Beach in 1935 to proclaim a place for Afro-Americans to vacation during the segregation era. And whereas Malveen Betch was strongly influenced by her grandfather and shared his passion for the preservation of American Beach, and whereas Malveen Betch graduated from Boylan Haven School of Jacksonville and continued her education at the Conservatory of Oblin College where she double majored in voice and piano. And whereas Malveen Betch traveled around Europe where she was an accomplished opera singer starring in the German state opera. And whereas Malveen Betch had a desire for human justice, peace, and protection for the earth. And in 1962, she returned to Jacksonville to promote conservation of the environment, particularly of her beloved American Beach. And whereas Malveen Betch was known as the unofficial historian of American Beach and was the founder of the A.L. Lewis Historical Society. And whereas Malveen Betch successfully lobbied to place American Beach on the National Register of Historic Places to designate Nana, the 60-foot sand dune at American Beach as property of the National Park Service. <laughs> and to provide a buffer for the intact land between American Beach and the development of to the north. And whereas Mavine Betch was a strong force behind countless other environmental causes, such as butterfly preservation, preservation of wetlands, preservation of pygmy communities in Africa, and preservation of white whales, and a botanist visiting Amelia Island named Whale, 1151 Mavine in her honor. And whereas Mavine Betch was raised in a life of luxury, however, she gave away her entire fortune to help the environmental causes. And whereas Mavine Betch, passionate, a passionate advocate of the environment, and the beach earning <clears throat> earned her the title of beach lady, and her enthusiastic enthusiastically carried out black history tours with the beach lady at American Beach, and whereas Bobine Betch was known for her deep conviction, sharp intellect, and extraordinary courage, and the story of her life was the centerpiece of of a book by Ross Reiner, Reimer. Reimer, Reimer. titled Reimer. American Beach, A Saga of Race and Memory, mm -hmm. and whereas many other articles and publications written about the Beach Lady have been, have been featured in the New York Times, USA Today, Essence, Sierra Club Magazine, Coastal Living, Southern Living, and Preservation, the magazine of the National Trust of Historic Preservation. The Beach Lady was featured on both CNN and CBS. Whereas Malveen Betch, seven foot long coil of thick hair mm -hmm. caught in, atten in attention to everyone she encountered and she used this opportunity to spread the story of American Beach. <laughs> the story of her hope for world peace, her compassion for animals and mankind, and her encouragement for others to stand up for their beliefs 
and convictions. And whereas Maveen Bitch transcended from her home at American Beach on September the 5th, 2005, and will always be remembered for her tireless and tireless work and significant success in preserving the environment and her beloved American Beach. Now, therefore, be it resolved, this 25th day of August, 2014, the Board of County Commissioners of Nassau County hereby proclaim September the 5th, 2014 as the Beach Lady Day. Yes. Signed by all five county commissioners, yes. Clerk of the Court, Mr. John Crawford, and the County Attorney. Congratulations. <laughs> in that. We have a beach lady highway that you drove up. It wasn't Hexa Drive when you came around the last circle. It was the beach lady highway because at that time, Senator Tony Hill in the back. Also, we have some of the old board members of A.L. Lewis. We raised the money to be able to put this museum together. We have two here, Mr. Phil Scanlon and Bernie about the um, this whole project. Now, I'm winding it down as fast as I can talk because I want you to see the exhibit. I want you to mingle a little bit and hear the music. But first, I would like to introduce you to the sister of sisters. She's my sister, but she's Marvin's blood sister. She is Marvin's yin to her yang. Marvin said, I'm a rascal. But my sister, she's the conservative sister president. That's what Marvin would say. But now, the whole journey has circled. Marvin has a museum, but she, her sister, Dr. Janetta Cole, who is now the director of the African, Smithsonian African Museum. My sister. Dearest sisters and brothers all, I can only tell you as I stand to try to say just a few words for our family, that gratitude flows so heavily that it is as if it runs from a cup and we now drink from the saucer. To walk into this museum this afternoon and to walk through the exceptional, I mean truly unusual, exceptional, creative presentations almost took me to my knees. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you the tears flowed out of sheer gratitude and pride. And so to all of the thank yous that Carol, my sister's daughter, has so perfectly expressed to all of you, I just want to add for our family our unending gratitude. Oh, my God. 